Hello guys, welcome back to another revisited video. I am just uh, got out of the cinema. I'm going in to see Beast now straight after. But I have just uh, gone to see E.T. Um, it is the 40th anniversary um, of the film, which is pretty bonkers. And yeah, I went to see E.T. for, I would say it's kind of the first time, but I'm revisiting it based on the fact that I've, watching it back, I remember having a VHS of it. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's more of a revisited rather than a um a full-on retro review first time watch because it kind of can overlap into that there is some elements that definitely it is a first time watch for me because i can't remember this i couldn't remember the story like watching it back i remember little bits but it was brilliant to see it in the cinema which obviously was a first time thing for me because it's 40 years ago it came out and i'm 30 so um it's a bit for my time but just having the music, John Williams' score in the cinema was just, it sounded amazing. The look of the film was great as well. Um, it is one of those films, obviously, that is uh, going to have uh, more like actual physical props um, and real sets and all that. And I just love that nostalgia for me of like getting thrown back into that world, uh, that era uh, and all that as well. There was also some Star Wars, like, Easter eggs and stuff in there. That's obviously, you know, Kathleen Kennedy was part of this movie. Um, same as Steven Spielberg, obviously, directing it. Who is a big friend, fan of... Um, uh, what's, uh, what's his name? Uh, Steven Spielberg and George Lucas work very closely together. So, um, yeah, it's around the time of the year, or the same year, obviously. But, yeah, just to be experiencing that in the cinema again is very good. If you have a chance to, I would recommend it. Um, I, I obviously have not point talking much about the story uh, because the story itself was good. I think if you'd asked me before the film my thoughts on it, I, E.T. wasn't a top, top movie for me. If I'm going to be honest, I probably would have given it like a two, three star just because I, I have no like, I guess, nostalgia with it. I remember it being quite boring. Um, but now watching it, I think what I would say is firstly, I'm going to give it a score of four stars for me. But one thing I will say that's different for me now, I guess, is, is I think it's more of an adult movie. I think when I watched it, I probably was a lot too young for this film. I probably remember seeing this when I was maybe 10, maybe a bit older, like 12. And then I just never stuck around with it, you know, I just never watched it. But I think if I'd watched it when I was a bit older, I think now, looking at it, I think you can kind of see that, you know, the relationship, obviously, that he has with Elliot and the bond that they share. Um, you know, uh, you know, him with his brother and like, you know, being like the outcast of the family, then all of a sudden bringing the family together. Like from an adult point of view, I very much appreciate it. And I think I prefer it, you know, as an, as an adult, maybe let me know down below if you think I'm not on the right track or, or whatever, but that's my th thoughts on it. Um, you know, in, in that sense, I think it's more the plot wise, I think fits better for me and my life experiences now than it did maybe when I was 10, 11, 12. Was it? So, so yeah, but I'm going to give it a four star. It's not, um, you know, top top tier for me and, and it's, it's not going to be it's not like i have the same nostalgia levels that i have with say jurassic park from that era or most definitely star wars so for me you know it's it's just on the cusp of that i can understand if people do give it a five star though if you grew up there and, and, and whatever or if you watched it when it came out and, and all that i agree so so yeah so i'm really loving the fact that we get to see these movies in the cinema now i think over the last like year i managed to see empire strikes back back to the future one um, I saw Hocus Pocus as well, which I've done a review for on the channel. Now we've done E.T. Like, I really love that cinemas are doing this. And if anything good has come from COVID for, from a cinema point of view, it's this because we didn't have this before before COVID really. So uh, I really, really do love that. But yeah, there it is, guys. There is my revisiting of E.T., obviously directed by Steven Spielberg. And uh, the score was amazing, as I say. Four star for me. It is on my Letterbox account. If you want to follow me over on Letterbox, it's just at Movies with James. And also, of course, please follow me on my socials down below there don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you like what you see and let me know your thoughts on et have you gone to see in the cinema recently have you watched it at home recently let me know your thoughts thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one goodbye